Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's special kind of webinar. Um, it has taken us a little bit longer than we planned to get here, but we are perseverers. So here we are uh, trying a third way to get this video to you. <laughs> My guest today is the beautiful Crystal Holmes that I have the privilege and honor to not only do life with, but also business with. Uh, she has been on this journey with me for a good long time, and tonight we're going to get real and talk about what the heck do we do as a job? You do what now? Right? And why do we do it? Why, what did we choose this business for? What do we love about it? What's hard? And why you should join us? So, Crystal, thank you for joining me, and uh, I hope that you're excited to get into this. Of course I am. <laughs> awesome. So Crystal, how long have you been using doTERRA products? So I've been using, well, I've been a member for just over three years, but I was first introduced to the products probably about three and a half years ago by you. Awesome. And then <laughs> when did you transition from just using the products into doing this as a business? Uh, well, I didn't actually know that that's what I was doing, but it was, it was about uh, just less than six months later, I think. So, yeah. Awesome. So what drew you to doTERRA? What drew me to doTERRA as, um, as far as the products go and wanting these in my home was the idea of uh, having something that was natural for my family and was effective and safe. And that was something I was really searching for and actually having a hard time finding. So to be able to find that um, and then to get involved in the company of doTERRA and see what the people who are behind it are like. Um, and I think that's what, um, that's why when I kind of started doing the business part, I didn't even know really that that's what I was doing. I just was so drawn in and, and so excited by the company and how they operate and what, what this means and the, the collaborations um, with you and with others in this business. It just really was exciting um, and a really good fit for where I was at in my life. And so it uh, was a little bit of a moth to a flame situation because I didn't really know what I was doing. I just knew that it felt awesome um, and I wanted to be a part of that. So, yeah. That's amazing. So you were drawn to the company, the safety of the products, um, especially as a mom of four kids, safety is so key, yeah. right? And to be able to promote yeah. that for, or not just use it for ourselves, but to share that with other is so empowering. So yeah. what do you love most about doTERRA as a company and what you do as part of your business? What's, what do you love? My absolute favorite part of it is the people. So, uh, and that happens on a lot of different levels. Um, if we're going to go all the way back, looking at the kind of the top level of that scenario is looking at the people behind the company, um, what they stand for, having met some of them. Um, well, I mean, not like shook their hands, but like heard them speak, um, and how passionate and genuine they are. Um, so I, I love that. I love the people I get to work with on a business side. Of course, you, Monica, are a huge inspiration in that. And I know, right? Like, I can't do the heart thing. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that heart. Woo! That's like, yeah. I don't know. This one's a little bit better. But no. Okay. So so I have lots of hearts for the company. Not that I can make them with my hands, but you know. Um, so I love working with you, meeting some of the other people behind um, the scenes in terms of our team. Um, Daphne, Kimberly, Holly, um, Melena Harrison was a big inspiration to me. So just seeing the people and how they work and how they work together and they're so giving and so generous. Um, and that I feel is a bit um, contrary to kind of the reputation that this type of um, organization has. Mm -hmm. um, and so I love that it kind of broke that mold. I have no experience with this type of model in anywhere else in my life. Um, so being immersed in it just felt very good and natural. And then the last level of the people that I love is the people that I get to, um, it's so, interesting because in so many ways I'm on the same level as the people that I meet and in other ways I, I get to be a little bit of a leader. I get to kind of show them, I get to introduce them to this awesome um, way of living, this whole lifestyle that I had no idea was out there and I love coming across people that are 
are searching for that. They're already looking for it. They're, I don't have to convince them or persuade them or, um, you know, bring them over to our side. It's just, it's a, this is what I do. And they hear it and they're like, all the, the, the pieces are fitting and the, everything's clicking and they're like, this is what I want. And so to, to find those partnerships um, is really, really in exciting and incredible. And my absolute favorite thing of what I do is the thank you notes. When I get messages, thank you for sharing this with me because my kid finally had a good day at school or thank you because I finally slept well or, you know, all of the things that people get so um, thankful for and grateful about. Um, and and then the partnerships also that are created again on that business perspective. Um, so I just love all of that, being able to connect with people, especially like you said, I'm a stay at home mom of four right now. Um, and it's, uh, you, get, you, you get your fair share of kid conversations. <laughs> so I relish the opportunity to have adult ones, especially on meaningful topics like health and wellness and you know, um, being the best person you can be, so. Yeah. So you're only a little bit passionate about this then. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's yeah, awesome. <laughs> and clearly, as you're speaking and you're talking about what you love most about this, the fact that you are a mom shows and the fact that you have, um, you were a teacher, right? That was your, that was your profession for years. And so mm -hmm. transitioning into something that you are passionate about, that you get to teach about, seems like such a natural fit for you. Mm -hmm. So what is your drive behind what you do? Uh, my drive is, it's twofold because there's, there's kind of an internal drive and an external drive. So my internal drive is, um, I really was feeling, uh, when I started out doing this as a business, I, I was feeling um, that my dream of motherhood was a bit of an illusion. I had been disillusioned by what that would look like, that it would be this total and complete fulfillment in my life. And don't get me wrong, I love my kids. Being a mom is totally my passion and I love it, but it wasn't as all encompassing as I thought it would be. I knew that there was something more for me out there. And when I found doTERRA, it, um, it started to fill that, that void in me. And what really helped it hit home for me was one time I was home visiting with my mom and she looked at me and she says, you look really happy. She says, I don't know what it is ever since you started this doTERRA thing. And she's not a customer, by the way. <laughs> she says, ever since you started this, uh, you look happier and your kids look happier. And this, I think, is a really good fit for you. And so that was incredible hearing that from my mom, who is also like one of my best friends. So there's that internal motivation um, and, you know, giving this to my kids, showing them that, you know, I can do something um, that's a little bit different than, you know, what everybody else does. So I love that. And then um, the external motivation is, again, it's the people. It's the people I meet, the fact that, you know, every once in a while when I'm starting to feel like, oh, what am I doing? Then somebody else sends me a thank you message. And I think, if they hadn't, you know, been introduced to this, if they hadn't met me, if I hadn't showed them this different way, um, they wouldn't be in this position of gratefulness, right? So mm -hmm. it's not that they're, you know, magic treatments and cure-alls and all of this stuff, but they make a difference in people's lives. And once you kind of catch the fire on that, you just want to keep doing it because it matters to people. And so I want to keep doing that. I love that. That is so awesome. So um, you were saying about kind of like feeling fulfilled as a person. I know personally, one of the things that I was most surprised at in this journey of doTERRA is how much cat poop you need to get out of your sandbox to move forward, <laughs> right? Who knew oh, yeah. this is a personal development company wrapped up in a wellness company? Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> but it, it, it's so true that you have this ability to pour out and this ability to feel filled at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely a beautiful combination and you do it so eloquently. And I'm so yeah. glad that people can see that. When you talk about it, there's no guessing if Crystal genuinely loves this or if she's pushing you to sales or if this is authentic for you. You are so raw and real and authentic and genuine that it definitely comes across in what you do. And that is hard to find in other businesses. 
It's hard to find something that you can be all of that and more and authentic about it, right? Um, So I love, love, love that about our business too. So I'm going to ask you, hmm, do I ask you the hard question or an easy question? A hard question? Ask me the hard one. Do it because you just, you led me into it. I know what's coming. Awesome. So Crystal, what is the hardest thing about doing doTERRA as a business? Okay. So you led me right into this. I was ready for this. You, you set it up perfectly. It's this idea that um, you have to work on yourself. So one of my greatest flaws, and I will put it out there because it's kind of obvious a lot of the time. Um, well, it's probably mostly obvious to me, but I really struggle with time management, which really is a lot of it's self-management and regulation of my time and my priorities and things like that. And I don't like that about myself. That's, that's a hard thing for me to know to be true about myself. But I've always struggled with this. I've, you know, called it different things. I'm a procrastinator or I'm just a perfectionist or I'm a, you know, perfectionist procrastinator. You know, all of those things that you call it. Procrastinate um, perfection. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, but it's worth it, right? So uh, all of those things. Um, and it's so awesome to be part of a company that doesn't just let you brush that under the rug, right? Well, I'm just, that's just how I am. That's just who I am. So I'm just gonna, you know, work with that. Um, Meanwhile, having this sinking feeling about like, uh, that's who I am, right? Which doesn't feel good. And it's more like, you know what? I don't really like, yes, that's always going to be a part of me. It's always going to be a struggle, but I can get better at it. I can work on that. And that's what doing this business pushes me to do. And so it challenges me on that level and it makes me better at doing those things. Um, So if you could see the perimeter around the perimeter of what this shows, my desk is here and it's a mess because that's just, but it's something by doing this business, I have to improve that because I can't function in a mess. And so that's something that I'm working on. Um, and so that's a struggle, but at the end of the day, it's a good thing because I want to be better. I want to be a better version of who I am, not different from who I am, um, but better at being who I am and managing my challenges. So it forces me to do that and it's hard, but it's good. Awesome. So it's, it is hard, right? To, to figure, to juggle all those things and to find balance. And I think for those people watching that, that's probably one thing they're thinking, especially if they're moms with young kids, like we are right. Going, how do I juggle all the balls? How do I keep it in balance? Um, and you're right. doTERRA does make you rip off the bandaid and find all the things, right? Cause if you're not successful in this business, it has nothing to do with the company. Mm. Right. Yeah. Um, and because they are, they are the third top company to get to a billion dollars besides Apple and Facebook, right? Just tiny little companies like that. And so <laughs> it's not about the company and it's not about the product if this business doesn't succeed. And I love that they don't just tell you what it is, right? But we have so much training and things that we can be involved so in. And I have never been exposed to any company ever that I have worked for that has provided us so many tools at our fingertips. There is no throw in there and swim with the fishes and hope that you're the one that makes it, Mm -hmm. right? It is very, very much um, as much assistance as you want, as many tools as you're looking for, uh, different things uh, for sure. And and on a very, very personal level, it's not just, here's Mm. the book that we wrote 30 years ago, follow this manual and you'll figure it out. It's where can we meet you where you're at, updating programs, um, having personal, like mentorship is a huge part of this. Um, And I love that because don't we all need that? So, I mean, when it's built right into what you do, I'll take it. (laughs) Absolutely. Yeah, it is. And it is fantastic that we can identify those hard pieces and not just see them as weaknesses, right? But find our strengths that surround those things. And this company enables us to do that. So not only are we impacting people's lives by the products that we sell, but we are also educating people, transforming lifestyles and changing us to rise into our greatness, right? Like, Mm -hmm. I love that. I always tell people, um, even if I were to walk away from doTERRA today, which I'm not going to do (laughs) because eat food, 
Um, but even if I did, I have become a different person through this journey. Not different as in not who I was before, but broken down so many walls to actually let the inside out and go, hey, I'm a pretty decent human, mm -hmm. right? Um, which has been a journey. You know, it's been a journey to find that, right? And it's still a journey. There's still layers of the onion to peel, but um, it is hard, but beautiful at the same time. Um, so what do you think sets doTERRA apart in your mind? We've kind of touched on the personal development aspect. You love the culture of doTERRA, the quality of doTERRA. Um, anything else that you can think of that just makes you fall in love, sets it apart? I, I think a lot of it probably we've touched on, but yeah, what you said to the culture of doTERRA, just that it's very, it's very encouraging um, that even on the hard days, even when it's tough, even when, you know, I've got other stuff going on in my life. Um, there's a lot of encouragement. There's a lot of grace. There's a lot of, uh, just understanding. Uh, so I like that. I don't have to ask anybody for days off either. So that's pretty sweet. Amen. <laughs> yes. Very, very true. Okay. So where do you think that let's let's get personal all right we're gonna get personal to crystal and okay. what what are you looking for in somebody to partner in this business with like what is your grand grand vision and who's walking alongside you when you get there so this this is kind of easy to say because i i think about this a lot and i really um there's a few key things I would love for it to be somebody who is female like myself, somebody who is around about my age, although that's not, you know, necessarily set in stone. Um, somebody who has a passion for wellness that, I mean, I am so, I myself clearly am a fairly passionate person. And so, um, yeah, I know who knew, right? <laughs> so to find somebody who feels that passionately about it, who doesn't necessarily understand all the things. Sometimes I feel, um, it does a disservice to people to say, oh yeah, you know, I was a teacher. And so this is a good fit for me because I was a teacher. It's mm -hmm. not because I was a teacher. It's because I have a passion to teach. And lots of people have that without being a professional teacher, right? So just having that drive to be passionate about um, doTERRA, about wellness, about finding natural solutions that are safe and effective for families. So somebody probably with a family or who has a deep desire for family um, and somebody who is, um, somebody who is ready to engage about their passions and not just say, this is what I do, you do you. It's somebody who says, this is what I do. And it's so exciting that I have to tell you about it too. Um, and so some of us do that more naturally. Some of us, it's harder. Some of us do that in a, better in a safe context, less in a, you know, a more open context. But to want to share that with other people is, um, is a huge part of it. So yeah, somebody that's passionate and, uh, and ready to engage. So passion, ready to engage. Um, interested in health and wellness, female around your age, um, which I'm not revealing. So that's not very helpful, but right. well, from the look of me, I'm about <laughs> 27, yeah. maybe 27 and a half. Come on now. Could be. No. So <laughs> we're looking for, for those things. Anything else that you can think of that you're like, I would love if they were this, or if you are this, do you think there's a limit to who can do this business particular cusp of, you know, it's just not a good fit for you. Um, the only person that it's not a good fit for is somebody who isn't willing to put a little work into it because it's not like it's, you know, like dragging your feet every day. Oh, I got to do this job because there are jobs like that out there. This is not one of them. Um, but I'll share this with you. I saw this, of course, on social media somewhere. It's a quote, something to the effect of 
when you wake up each day and what you strive for is happiness and every day you're just like, okay, I, I need to be happy. I need to be happy. How can I be happy? What do I need for happiness to happen? It's, um, you're always going to be searching for it. Mm. But if instead you take a step back and you just do the things that you love and you do the things that you know make you happy, the things that give you fulfillment and satisfy your life, happiness comes with it. So that's the kind of thing that I would say I'm looking for is somebody that is willing to do the things that bring goodness, not somebody that's driven for, oh, I need success. I need, you know, I need certain, I need to look at my numbers every day or anything like that. It's not that kind of driven. It's that driven to help people, driven to um, be the person that you want to be. And that's a journey I'm still on too, so. Aren't we all? <laughs> willing to roll up their sleeves, put a little elbow grease into it, um, some stick to itiveness, right? Mm -hmm. Because the, the fact is, and I know that you and I are in a similar boat on this one, that we both have positions that we are excited about um, getting somebody that's that, you know, kind of eager beaver. And what happens when you do that is we pour our resources into that person. Mm. So we want to know that that person's ready to receive them. Absolutely. So, yeah, if we're going to pour our time, our resources, our energy, right, to come alongside that person to, to help rise them up and see success in this business, we want them to be able to do that, right? Mm -hmm. um, for sure. So you've kind of got this vision for your, for your business of who you want to come alongside you. And so what does it look like to partner with you, Crystal? Uh, well, there would definitely, it, it comes with a lot of mentorship. So it's a lot of working together. And what that allows is that it's like I said, it's not a manual where it's like step one, step two, step three, step four, no matter who you are, this is what we do. It's uh, meeting you where you're at, figuring out what your needs are and um, finding a place where you can flourish. And so that really in that way, it is a fit for everyone because anyone can work within those parameters. Um, and uh, that's something I would be willing to work with um, is anybody that, that uh, can kind of fit in that way. Awesome. All right. Are you ready? I'm going to ask you a question that I didn't prepare you for. <laughs> so can you make money doing this? <laughs> I don't know why you would ask me that because that's what I do. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right, because I feel like we have talked about the beauty of what we do. We offer incredible, incredible products. We yeah. have a beautiful company. We have mentorship, and we get the cat poop out of our sandbox. But can we put food on the table is another question, right? Absolutely. That's what we do. And um, I can tell you one thing. If that's not what was happening, there is no way my husband would let me continue doing this, right? right? Oh. Amen. For sure. Yes, that is so, very true. So that's a big factor. And uh, he approves that there is, there is revenue coming in and therefore it's, it's, uh, it's profitable and worth it. So I am enjoying that aspect of it as well, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. For sure. Um, I know that my kids wouldn't eat if I didn't do this business, right? Um, I'm at a position now, which is really exciting that I support my family of four children um, on my income alone from doTERRA. So that's pretty incredible to be able to do that. Um, I remember that feeling the first day that I made more money than I spent <laughs> on my products. And I was like, I remember it was $6.36 that I had made in excess of what I'd spent that month. And I bought myself at Starbucks. <laughs> latte. And so that was $5 and something. And I had a buck left over and I said, I don't care because I made this money. <laughs> right? <laughs> and truthfully, I wouldn't be here four years later if I didn't make anything. <laughs> um, but and I am grateful for that. And there is great opportunities to make, um, to make money, right? Like that, that is a reality here. You can support your family. You can, you know, cover the cost of your oils. And the, the thing I want to say on that topic too, is that 
not only are you paying for what you need to run the business because you need to have the products, you need to be able to share them and use them for, you know, make and takes and things like that, that we do. But those products are also supporting your own family's health. And they're getting covered in my shampoo, conditioner, vitamins, hand soap, um, all our first aid care is included in the oils, my, you know, hormone support, all of that. So I'm covering that by doing this business. So it's really like, it's, it's just zero waste, essentially. So Absolutely. that's very husband approved, I will tell you. <laughs> yeah, right? You're getting all of these products that you would still purchase right? You would still totally. require this in your life. You're able to do that by doing that. You're able to serve other people by serving other people. You are able to, you know, feed your children or, um, you know, do the little extras that maybe you wouldn't be able to do right. Uh, when you got your first silver check, what did you feel like? Uh, I felt like I was, I, I like, it's hard to say, like, a big part of it was like, I want to know that I'm contributing to this family. I was really, before I started doing this as a business, I really felt like everything that I was doing um, in terms of spending money was a, a burden on our family. And that if I wanted anything that was just like to spend money on the kids was okay, to spend money on the house was okay, but to get something for just me felt like I was hurting everybody else to do that. Um, and so now with being able to bring in my own contribution to the family income it's like if i want to do a couple of extra things for just me which are healthy and good and i should do um it just erases the guilt and that's probably something i should work on anyways and that's not something that's put on me you know by my husband or anything um but i like knowing that i'm you know a financially contributing member of the family um while still staying home and being with my kids so, I mean, I could do that if I went back to work. I could feel like I was financially contributing again. But then I'd feel guilty that I wasn't home with my kids, right? So it's always a bit of a toss-up. And uh, I feel good about the, the balance that this brings to that aspect. Yes, it's definitely a catch-22. Um, <laughs> sometimes my kids are like, Mom, you have to go teach a class, or why are you going on this trip? And I just remind them, do you remember when Mommy worked three jobs and I was gone every single weekend, most holidays, and I had to work until midnight and didn't get home till 1 o'clock in the morning? Do you remember those days? And they're <laughs> like, yeah, we remember that. I'm like, so, two hours in my office in the afternoon, not so bad, huh? <laughs> Or today I went, went into town for a couple of hours and uh, I get, Kate was still back in time for dinner, right? I still got to do school with my kids in the morning, still got to kiss them goodnight and tuck them into bed. And so, um, well, that's not actually factual. My mom tucked them into bed tonight. I only tucked one kid into bed, but you know what I'm saying. And it's so, night. <laughs> right. And it's such a beautiful balance to be able to not have to sacrifice one for the other. There is definitely sacrifice that occurs um, when we have to go and do things, right? But it's so different and so much more empowering. So um, I... And, sorry, and you go. choose it. You choose it. I had somebody, they, like my husband with his job all the time, he will come home and he says, you know, they've got extra work on Sunday morning and I'm getting low on the list and I really need to be there. And so then he's gone Sunday mornings because that's when the work is happening. And just today I was booking a class and I said, I have um, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday. Those are my availability. Can't do Wednesday or Thursday. Those are dedicated to my family. So I get to pick and choose. And I really like that. That's yeah, absolutely. Um, you're so right. Like I had a season where I traveled a lot and now I get to choose that for a season I'm not, I'm going to be really present with my kids and, and help them, you know, now. And it's so empowering to go, yeah, no, I don't want to, or I don't work Sundays, right? I don't. And I remember when I was at Shoppers, I had to work and I missed so many things I wanted to be present at because I had no choice. If I yeah. wanted to keep my job, I had to show up. Right. Yeah. And so I don't have to do that on Sunday afternoons. I can go, I can go to church. I can have a big dinner with my family or I can go hike. Um, you know, I can, I can do those things. So it's definitely incredible in that aspect and uh, it is a blessing. So I think we've talked about all the ways that doTERRA is a blessing 
And I think we've answered why the heck we do this as a job, right? Um, so the last thing I wanted to say is you have a position available on your team uh -huh. that is already earning an income. Uh -huh. And we kind of talked about the kind of person that you want to fill that position. So can you give them ideas of where they go from here? If they're listening to this and they go, I am that person. I want her to pour her time, her energy and her resources into me, right? I want to rise up. I want to get some cat poop out of my sandbox. Said no one ever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but so now what do they do? They've fallen in love with the concept of working with you. Where do they go from here? You will want to contact me directly and we will have a chat about it. And it does not mean, and you're not signing your name on the dotted line at that first, you know, conversation. It's to say, hey, this piqued my interest. Tell me more. And then that's where, just like we did tonight with you and I, we'll get a little personal. And we say, how does this actually look for you? And you can ask me all your questions. Um, lay it all out on the table. Everything that you're wondering about right now as you're watching this. Jot them all down quickly so you don't forget, because I know how that goes. I do have four kids. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll meet up and we'll see um, what that would look like for you. And I promise I will be honest with you because I don't have any other bones in my body. I just have honesty bones. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I love it though. Um, I love, I love the way that you and I are, that we are such the yin to the yang, right? But that mm -hmm. we meld so beautifully. And that's the beautiful part of this team. And by accepting a position on your team and fulfilling that role, they get to be part of our larger team too, which is really, really cool. And uh, just, we've got some great gals there and it's really great to be able to do that. So I like Crystal also have a position available on my team that is currently earning an income. I'm also looking for uh, likely a female in uh, the mid 30 late or to mid 30, mid 40 range. Um, that is passionate and dedicated and is hardworking. Somebody who uh, sees a vision is able to, to be a part of that, but also step up um, in their, their own person as well, is not afraid of hard work. Um, and if you happen to be maybe in the massage, chiropractor, spa area. Um, I've done a lot of work with the people in that capacity, yoga studios, personal trainers, that kind of thing. So if you are that person, I would love to come alongside you. Um, uh, yeah, I've been working with a, very closely with a spa. I met with a yoga studio earlier this week. So this is kind of the wheelhouse that I'm working in and I would love, love, love to uh, find somebody of that niche to fill my role. To add to that, I will say it is um, an absolute joy to work with Monica. So <laughs> I also highly recommend this option. <laughs> awesome. So uh, thank you so much, Crystal, for getting raw and real and talking about why we do what we do. Um, and I am so blessed to be on this journey with you through the ups and downs, the good, the bad, the ugly, because there has been all of those things. Um, but it's so worth it in the end. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that you are, even if you don't want to join us in this journey, you understand why we do what we do, why we love what we do. And so anything last parting words you'd like to say, Crystal? Um, I don't think so. All right. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for being um, on here and feel free to reach out to Crystal or I with any or all questions that you may have concerning what we do, why we do it, and how you can be a part of it. Have a great night.